world headquarters, snap hook. A little high on the club face on that one. I'm going to get one good, though. My tee's supposed to go backwards. Okay, I got a frozen rope, finally, after three. Hey, it's Pete from Amateur Golf. Why am I standing outside Starbucks? Well, it's a very interesting Starbucks. This is the Starbucks at Palomar Airport Road and Armada Drive. It's where the Costco Shopping Center is. And this is the gateway to the golf industry in Carlsbad. And this year, 2023, I'm gonna take you inside some of the most secret, but also some places that are open to the public in the golf industry, whether you're looking to call on those companies to do business or whether you're looking to get a fitting there or you're just interested to know what happens behind the doors of Callaway, Cobra, TaylorMade, Titleist, Fujikura, the shaft companies, the component companies, the grip companies. I'm going to take you there starting today at Fujikura Composites. So Fujikura Composites, company that we know and is really on the upswing because of the Venta shaft. I mean, it's everywhere. And you see it in Scotty Scheffler's clubs. You see it in all sorts of professional clubs. What's up, what is about the VeloCore and the Ventus that is so good and providing tour players and better amateurs with so much performance? We're going to find out. I'm going to take you inside Fujikura, take you inside the golf industry. Stay with us. Well, I've arrived at Fujikura. One of the things I like to do is put some shoes on in the parking lot and spikeless do pretty well. The other thing is when you come visit these companies in the golf industry, especially if you're a consumer going to get a fitting. Don't come into Titleist with a tailor-made bag or Callaway with a Titleist bag. If you're going to one of those companies, try to be generic as much as possible. So one of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to film, really get fitted on three drivers. I use the generic head covers. I got a Cabot cover. I've got a azalea cover and a little red one here and a nice uh, little leather sporty bag good for carrying just a few clubs that's really one of my primary missions today is try three drivers and you can guess which company makes these three and see which shafts work out for me i'm going to bring some irons as well i'm going to get in there and i'm going to meet with andrew at fujikura here i am Fujikura Composites, USA, going in. I'm going to get the skinny on Fujikura shafts and what makes them so popular. I'm at Fujikura and I am with Spencer. Yep. Spencer, you're a industry veteran. You're going to walk me around today. What are we going to do? So we're going to show you a little bit of what we do here. We'll give you a little peek behind the curtain. We'll show you the kind of cool behind the scenes stuff. And then we're going to have some fun in the fitting bay. Awesome. Sounds Thanks. Good. All right. Okay. So this is basically uh, both the beginning and the end, right? So this is our warehouse space and we actually fulfill every order from here, except for really, really large OEM specific orders, but everything else ships right out of this building. So we like to say it's Small enough that we have complete control over it, but big enough that we can fill any of the needs and any of the orders that we have. So this is kind of the last step in the entire process. Our team here will box up orders, ship things out, very warehouse style, very efficient. They do an excellent job. But before they get to this point, let's show you how we make them. All right, so everything's going to start right here. And this is basically how graphite shafts are going to be made. We store all of our material in a refrigerated section to keep everything at constant temperature. This keeps all of our prefect material at a perfect operating temperature that when we take it out, we can roll it. But this is how it all starts. So everything starts here in big rolls, sheets of graphite prepreg. We'll select what we need based on a design. We'll take that design out. We'll take that material out. We'll take it to the table. We'll start to cut it, and then we roll it. You can actually see some of these sheets right here are laid out. They're ready to be measured. Then we move them over to our cutting machine. That's actually what's happening right here. So what we're doing is we're cutting very specific sections or flags that we will then wrap on a rolling table. We'll press those out. 
we'll wrap them, we'll heat them, we'll cure them. And that's essentially how a graphite tube is made. So we'll select our mandrels, which is this entire rack right over here. Mandrels are going to dictate exactly what type of shaft we're going to build. There are different taper rates, different thicknesses. And each one of these mandrels has what we call a clocking location on the butt end of it. That'll tell our technicians where the wraps go and how to wrap the shaft. After it's heated and cured, we extract the mandrel. You're left with a graphite tube. All right, so this is kind of the heart and soul of Fujikura right here. This is where, where all the, the fun stuff takes place. So you've seen how we make shafts. We showed you a little bit, just kind of the basics of a warehouse, how we ship shafts and things like that. But this is where it really all comes together. So inside this fitting studio is our Enzo analytics system. So Enzo is a 10 camera motion capture system that tells us exactly how a shaft behaves during the golf swing. We can tell where a shaft bends, deflects, twists, torque values, everything. So what that does is it gives us a little bit of a leg up on the competition because we're looking at analytics to design shafts instead of just trial and error. So when we run our shaft designs through Enzo Analytics, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of data points that tell us, theoretically, if a shaft were to be soft in this section or stiff in this section, this is the metric that it would create. This is the performance value it would create. We bring that in here. Andrew takes testers through that process. And this is exactly how every single Fujikura shaft is validated. We look at everything from the details of performance to how it's laid out, to how it's designed, to feel, launch, spin, weight, flex, everything runs through here. And you're going to see that a little bit today in your shaft fitting. World headquarters, snap hook. A little high on the club face on that one. I'm going to get one good, though. My tee is supposed to go backwards. Okay, I got a frozen rope finally after three. Let's see my numbers. So 143 and a half mile hours in ball speed, 15 degrees in launch, 2,700 spin, 241 carry, 259 total, um, and descent angle 42.3. So again, descent angle is pretty big for me with the driver as well. Um, we like to be around 35 to 40 degrees because, you know, anything over 40, it's just going to land and it's not really going to get a ton of rollout. Okay. Every time I play a club that is a driver and I hit it high, everybody seems to think that those are good shots. They're not always, but not always. it just looks good coming off high. Correct. We're used to seeing Correct. it. It just depends where you're playing. If you're playing somewhere that has fast and firm fairways, but yeah. day in and day out, I do like something medium to high. Correct. Correct. So that's what we're trying to optimize, right? So the peak height at 37 yards, that's, you know, a little high. Obviously you get guys like Rory McIlroy that hit it up straight into the stratosphere. But, you know, for the guy that plays on the weekend, it's, in terms of launch conditions, 15 degrees, 27 with a peak height of 37 yards, it's a little bit high, and I think we're losing a little bit of distance. Okay, that spin's a little high, it's even just, even for my swing speed and distance. Correct. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, I'm being picky at this point. If we can get, you know, 12, 2500, I'm I'm happy with that. Okay. But let's try something else. Yeah. Well, I'm back from Fujikura, and I can tell you, I had a fantastic day. It is so nice. This first stop on the Carlsbad golf tour, it's going to be hard to exceed what happened because I got fit. I got treated like a king. I got shown around. I got a tour of Fujikura. I promised you I'd tell you about Velocor. First thing I learned was it can be pronounced Velocor or Velocor, kind of a velocity thing. But what it really is all about is about the highest quality graphite, full length graphite that's 150% stronger than its predecessor. And it provides you with tighter dispersion, more onsetter hits. And there's a reason why it's used in eight out of the top 10 PGA and worldwide ranked players in the world. So really an incredible thing that Fujikura is going through right now, which is just a position of leadership that's getting even stronger as a golf shaft company. I left finding out a couple of things. I came in with about 2,700 RPM spin and a descent angle around 45. I thought that was fine, but I got tweaked down to about 2,200 spin and 37 on the descent angle. And that will help me, especially in dry conditions, to get a little more forward bounce on a driver. I also learned that Velocor is the key to the Venta shaft, but it's also going to be the key to a new line of iron shafts called Axiom. And while I didn't get totally fit for those, I hit a couple and boy, the feel and the feedback was fantastic. So I'll have a future invitation to go back to Fujikura and get fit for Axiom. But it's Axiom on the irons, Ventus, which is the number one shaft on tour. And both of those are fabulous products 
Fujikura was a big hit with me. I hope you've enjoyed getting a tour around. And while that one's not open to the public, I'm going to take you to some places that are as we go through the Carlsbad Golf Tour. Thanks for watching. Thank you.